y'all up to? What y'all doing? What's good? What's his, what is he giving? Okay. Spirit just put on my mind the, uh, I gotta go right now by Trey Songz. I don't want to leave. Mm. Woo. But I gotta go right now. Okay. But it was the, the first verse. Okay. It's calling my mind. And girl, I gotta go. Oh, yes, we had a good time. Don't get me wrong. You were so fine. And I really wish I could. Okay. Period. Because I don't want to leave. <laughs> but I gotta go right now. That's what is giving Aqua Spirit. What messages do we have for the Aquarius, honey, regarding this person that don't want to leave, but they got to go? I feel like this might be you, Aqua. This might be your energy. I don't want to leave, but I got to go right now, baby. I got some new love on the way, baby. I got some new love on the way. I don't want to leave, but I got to go right now. I might be back, and I'll be back before you know it. <laughs> Spirit, what messages do we have for the aquas? What is going on? What messages of love do we have for the aquas? Pay attention to the red flags. Let's get one more. Finances and career. So pay attention to the red flags, Aquarius. Oh, <laughs> and this blew off the West T. Romantic affair. This is the only one that blew over. Romantic affair. Sex fix. Secret lover. Fuck buddy. So this could be your secret lover, your fuck buddy. Your little sex fix, honey. I don't know. But it says, pay attention to the red flags. Maybe this is all they want to do. Maybe this is the energy that they're trying to put you in. It says finances and career. So this person could have trouble with, you know, their financial status. Or maybe you do. Maybe this is what you're focused on right now. Maybe this is why all you want to do is have, you know, a romantic love affair. It says, give your relationship a chance, Aquarius. And up under that, we got new love. And we got soulmate. Y'all can't even see that. Give your relationship a chance. New love, soulmate, chemistry. It's baby. It's giving. It's giving aquas. Spirit. It's giving new love. Is what it's giving. New connections. Okay. Maybe you're not interested in that though, Aquarius. I feel like you're focused on the money right now. Maybe somebody is telling you that you're a red flag. I don't know. I feel like you're. You know. You're all for a connection. Just nothing serious right now. Spirit, what other messages of love do we have for the aquas? Okay, we got a few. It says, you deserve love though, Aquarius. So you're too busy focused on the bag, focused on getting that bread, focused on that money, baby. Okay, we getting that money, babe. Money, babe, money, baby. Yeah, that money, babe. Okay, that money, babe, money, baby. Yeah. Y'all. Y'all worry about that money, but you deserve love, Aquarius. Release your ex as well along the path. So I feel like maybe that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to release your ex so that you can call in your soulmate. Look at there. So that you can call in your soulmate, Aquarius. You deserve love just as much as you give it. Passion. This could be a very passionate connection. There could be something happening or brewing between you two, honey. It definitely says soulmate at the bottom of the deck. So, baby, we finna see. We finna see. They told me to go ahead and get the West T since West T want to, uh, you know, be seen. West T want to be a part of the connection. Let's see what's going on, Aquas. What's going on? What's going on? What's T for this love connection, honey? This romantic affair. Because that's what it is. It's a romantic love affair. So this could be an entanglement. What my girl Jada say? Entanglement. Somebody could be, you know, in an entanglement. I don't know. Somebody's a groupie here as well. Somebody trying to get the inside scoop on you. And your connection with this person. Somebody's trying to prove that that's all it is between you and that person. Somebody's trying to prove that all you two were doing were fucking okay somebody's trying to get the scoop and they're trying to blast it somebody wants to let everyone know that yeah they was just fucking they weren't even you know he was just fucking her she was just fucking him they weren't even you know yeah that's what it's giving aquas anyway spirit what other messages do we have for the aquarius regarding this love connection this romantic love affair this entanglement Yep, look, a fucking groupie. 
There's a groupie in your energy trying to get the inside motherfucking scoop because that's the same card I just saw. Trying to get the motherfucking inside scoop. Like I said, head in the clouds. Can't even focus on they shit because they too busy looking you the fuck up. Researching you, studying you, getting info. They too busy worried about what the fuck you doing, Aquarius. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. They trying to prove something. Or they trying to spill some tea. <laughs> I just heard, and if you think you got tea on me, bitch, you're drinking piss. Fuck you talking about? Yeah. And if you think you got tea on me, bitch, you're drinking piss. Yeah, it's like that. Spirit, what well, the messages do we have for the Aquarius regarding this love connection, this entanglement, this romantic affair? Oh my God, there's a spiritual hater in the midst. This just flew the fuck out. Somebody's hating on you. Hates on your spirituality, your light, your magic, your power. Yeah, they're fishing for fucking comments. They're worried about what you got going on, Aquas. Whoever this person is, they're always partying. They always at a motherfucking party. Always want to go out. They ain't never goddamn got shit going on, but they stay in the motherfucking club. That's what it's giving, Aqua. We finna put some tarot down on top of this shit. Spirit, what other messages do we have for the Aquas regarding this situation, honey? What's going on? What's going on? Who the fuck is this spiritual hater? Who is this spiritual hater in the Aqua energy that's always partying, always fishing for comments, looking like a fucking groupie? Who is this spiritual hater, Spirit? Oh, eight of cups. Could be dealing with a water sign. This could be a water sign hating on you, honey. And you walked away from the shit. Whoever this person is, you walked away from them. You walked towards your son. Honey, your happiness, your joy, baby. High vibe, and you had to get the fuck away from that. That low vibing ass energy, period. You had to get the fuck away from it. This person is always trying to prove a point. Always trying to get in your business to make sure you ain't doing better than them. That's what it's giving. That's what it's giving. That's why maybe none of your connections worked. None of your, you know, situations worked. That's what it's giving. Eight of Cups, honey. Walking away. Desire for more. Letting go. Traveling. Withdraw or abandonment. You could have abandoned this person, like I said, for your happiness. Your joy. Your sanity, honey. Absolutely. Self-love is what it's giving. Who's fishing for comments? Who is this groupie motherfucker hating on the aqua? Fishing for motherfucking comments. Who is this person? Okay, I just saw the magician. So you could be dealing with a Gemini. There could be a Gemini in your energy, honey. Fishing for comments. This is somebody that's an alchemist, baby. Or maybe this is you, Aquarius. I don't know. But y'all heard the question and y'all saw the card. There could be a Gemini and a Cancer working towards you. I mean, you know what I mean. Working against you to, you know, push this energy on to you. I don't give a fuck. Trying to push this energy onto you. And Aquarius, I'm getting, yeah, I don't give a fuck. That's what I just heard. So, yeah. We got Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Yep, because luck and the wheels are turning in your direction. Your, for your <coughs> spiritual hater. For your well-being, honey. For your prosperity, your abundance, baby. You're winning at the end of the day. Karma hurts. Okay, period. And this motherfucker gonna realize it. These could be two people working against you, Aqua. Or maybe this person has Gemini placements or they have caster placements. I don't know. Could we deal with the Pisces? Spirit, what other messages do we have for the Aquarius regarding this situation? Who is this motherfucker fishing for comments? This could be three people, Aquarius, working against you. Look, page of pentacles. Whoever it is, they 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 money is like a, a page. They haven't paid bread. They ain't got no real money. They still a student. They still trying to learn. Okay, period. We got nine of ones at the bottom of the deck. And you already knew who this motherfucker was. So, cause, cause you done created distance between this shit. Yeah, you done got the fuck away from that badass karma. Yeah, wheel of fortune. The luck done changed. The wheels done turned, baby. You, you put your guard up against this shit. The fuck? You was tired. You was tired, Aquarius. Honey, it was like this person did one final thing and you was like, yep, that's it. I am fucking out. I am out. You are, you are full of shit. And I am out. We're going to get some oracle messages and we're going to get up out of here, baby, because what? Spirit, what are the messages do we have for the aquas? What's the overall 
Okay, moon. I see moon cycles and fertility. Somebody could be pregnant. There could be an unwanted pregnancy here. Or there's somebody that's pregnant. It says prosperity in moon. There's someone here that's pregnant. I did just see for fertility. So, yeah, somebody here could be pregnant or they're going to try to either call you and tell you that they're pregnant or they got somebody pregnant. I don't know, of course. So maybe you're going to end up pregnant. I don't know. Here, what other messages do we have for the Aquarius regarding this energy? What's the final message for my Aquas regarding this energy? I think I just saw Watchtower of the Spring. Spirit, what's the final message regarding this energy? What's the final message regarding this energy, Spirit? One card for the Aquas regarding this energy. Okay, this one's sticking out. It says, which is that? Power, Aquarius. Yeah, you're very fucking powerful. You could be the motherfucking magician. Yeah, you're very powerful. You're calling in your stability. You're calling in, you know, your foundation. You're building your foundation, baby. You're powerful and you're standing in your power. Spirit, give me one more for the Aquas. Give me one more for my Aquas. We got Witch's Cabin. Or a cottage. I'm sorry. Security. So, you're definitely a witch, Aquarius. That's why this spiritual hater is here. Hating on your energy. Because they know. Yeah, water. Sex. Water sign. So, there could be a water sign. Hating on your energy. I feel like, though, you're using their hating ass water energy to cleanse yourself. You're using this shit to cleanse your energy. Cleanse your aura. Cleanse your space. Cleanse your field. Or maybe you just need to get out in some water, Aquarius. You have a responsibility to uphold, Aquarius, the high priestess. And we definitely have incubation here, oh star. So there's definitely something being born. I feel like you're grounding yourself right now. You're, you know, calling in your stability. You're, you know, controlling your power. You're finally taking back control of your power, your destiny, honey. Facts. You could definitely be giving birth to something. You have a responsibility here as the high priest or the high priestess. So, yeah. Get cleansed, Aquarius. Get out by water. Get down by some water. Get in some water. I don't know, Aquas. I'm going to leave it there, though. I love you guys so much. And thank you for watching, honey. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And click the notification bell, baby, so you won't miss the next drop. Because I know I've been slacking, but y'all, I be trying. I be trying. I love y'all, but I just be needing energy breaks. Anyway. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace, love, and light. Peace out.